Hey y'all, I'm back with another video, long time no see, but I thought we would just spend the day in the kitchen together. I'm gonna be sharing a breakfast recipe, a lunch recipe, and a dinner recipe all in today's video, and I've never shared any of these recipes, and two of them are also new to me. So I hope you guys enjoy this video, and let's get started. First up, we have these easy breakfast bagels. And this is one of our family's new favorites. This recipe was so good and really so easy to throw together. So first, I'm just gonna brown up one pound of breakfast sausage. Use any kind that you like. This would also be really good with turkey sausage if you wanna make it a little bit lighter. I think that would be delicious. But I'm just gonna brown it all up, chop it all up, and if there's any grease, I'll go ahead and drain that. And then over on the side, I am using how many eggs? About three eggs. Depending on how many bagels you use, it's about one egg per bagel. So I'm gonna scramble those up. And then speaking of bagels, I'm just using these bagel thins. We really love these. And I'm just gonna go ahead and place a few of them on my baking sheet with some parchment paper. Now we're gonna get our eggs scrambled up. And this recipe is so easy and so good because really you could prepare all of the ingredients separately and have them in your fridge. And then breakfast through the week would be even that much easier. Now the next part is pretty self-explanatory. I'm just gonna start loading up these bagel thins. And of course, we're doing a sausage, egg and cheese variety, but you could really do so many different things with this. You could leave off the sausage and just add some crumbled bacon on top for a bacon, egg and cheese. You could add, you know, peppers, onions, really whatever your family likes. And these are so good, they're filling. Yet, like I said, you could really make these as light or as, what shall we say, delectable as you'd like. These are so good. Now I'm just gonna add on our scrambled eggs. I just, I started adding this with a spoon because I'm filming it, but really y'all, I started using my hands, so I didn't film that. But anyway, next we're gonna add some cheese. I'm just using some sharp cheddar. Feel free to use whatever cheese you want. And y'all, that is pretty much it. These are going into the oven at about 400 for only five or 10 minutes. We're gonna melt that cheese up and the bagels will toast a little bit on the bottoms. And these are just so good. Look how pretty these come out. You can serve these with a little bit of fruit on the side, some coffee, some tea, some juice. And this is the perfect weekend breakfast, or like I said, a really quick weekday breakfast as well. Hey y'all, so I just got home from running a few errands. I'm gonna go ahead and start our dinner in the crock pot for tonight. And then I'm also gonna make a really yummy lunch that I've been eating like all the time here lately. So let me show you what I'm gonna make for dinner and then we'll make some lunch as well. So tonight for dinner, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with this Marry Me Chicken. It's a super popular recipe. I'm not sure if I've ever made it though. I know I've wanted to, I just hadn't ever done it. But we're obviously gonna do a slow cooker version. So first, I'm just gonna get some chicken breast in my slow cooker. I have about four chicken breast I'm gonna use. All right, next we're gonna add our seasonings. You can really season this with lots of different things, but I'm gonna use some onion powder. Just give it a little sprinkle of that. Also gonna do a little bit of garlic powder. We're gonna put some fresh garlic in here too. So just a little bit of that. Let's do some Italian seasoning. Get a good bit of that in there. And then I've seen a few people use some crushed red pepper flakes. I thought that sounded really good. I'm not gonna put too many. I don't wanna make it too spicy for the kids but I do think that would be really good in there. All right, and like I said, we are gonna add some minced garlic in here as well. I'm just gonna sprinkle some on. All right, next we're gonna do about one cup of chicken broth. Just pour that all around, and I know some of y'all are gonna say you're washing the seasoning off, but it's not gonna matter because it's all gonna cook in here together anyway. It'll be perfectly seasoned. We're also gonna add about a cup of heavy cream. 
I'm just kind of eyeballing it here. Get that all in there. And then the last ingredient for now are just some sun-dried tomatoes. These are the ones that come in the olive oil. I have used the dried sun-dried tomatoes in other recipes and it seems to work fine, especially in crock pot recipes where they have time to kind of rehydrate. Go ahead and just get some of these in. Try not to get too much of that oil in there, but it's not gonna hurt it if you do. And I'm realizing maybe I should chop these or slice them or just buy the julienne ones, but this is all my store had, so I think it'll be fine. Get those in there. And that is pretty much it. Let me grab my lid and I'm gonna cook mine on high for probably about four hours. We're gonna serve this with some angel hair pasta. So I'm gonna let this cook all day and I'll check back in with y'all here in just a little bit. But while it's cooking, I'm starving. So let's make some lunch real quick. All right, so for lunch today, here's everything that I'm gonna be using. We're gonna need some tortillas. I like to use the carb counter. The La Benderita is my favorite. They're really good. We're gonna need some cheese. I also like to use the Velveeta shreds for my lunches just because it's super low calories. I'm gonna use that. We're gonna need some Laughing Cow. This is the light, uh, the creamy light variety. We're gonna need one of those. Some buffalo sauce, of course, Frank's Red Hot. And then we're gonna need some ranch dressing. I like the Bolt House Farms Ranch. Again, super low calorie, but I really like how it tastes. I'm gonna use that. Then we're gonna also need some cooked chicken. And I love using canned chicken. I love keeping this on hand, especially for my lunches. There's so many things I make with canned chicken. Chicken salad, these little pinwheels are so perfect. And they have so much protein in here. One can, I can get two meals for myself or two lunches out of. So. Let me show you how we're gonna put all this together. So the first thing I like to do is just drain and rinse my chicken. And then I like to just kind of chop mine up into finer little um, pieces because they are in kind of big chunks. And then I'll go ahead and separate about half to use for tomorrow for lunch. Unless I'm planning on having the same thing, but normally I switch it up. So I'm just gonna take about half that, save it for tomorrow. And y'all let me know, by the way, if you'd like to see more lunch ideas, especially I try to do like low calorie lunch ideas to save room for my dinner and all the things that I cook for my channel. So if you'd like to see more of those, y'all just let me know. And maybe I can keep doing these kind of all day cook with me. All right, there we go. Don't have to be perfect. All right, now we're gonna use one of these little Laughing Cow cheese wedges. If you've never tried these before, I mean, it basically tastes like cream cheese, but it's just obviously um, less calories and everything. So we're gonna add that in, get all we can out. And I like to go ahead and just kind of mash it around and mix it up with my chicken. All right, next we're gonna add some buffalo sauce. And by the way, there's so many different ways. I think I already said that. You can make these, you can do like little taco ones. You can do chicken, bacon, and ranch. That's what I actually was planning on doing today. But I didn't have any more of my little bacon pieces. I need just a little bit for the filling. I actually like to dip these in ranch. All right, so let's go ahead and finish mixing all of this together. And this is so good too. I've really been trying to focus on not just low calorie, but high protein things especially for lunch, because it's gonna keep me full all the way until dinner, until we're ready to have that marry me chicken. All right, I got our little mixture done. Okay. All right, there's my tortilla. And if you're wondering, these are 45 calories. Now all we're gonna do is take that buffalo chicken and spread it all around the tortilla. And lastly, I'm just gonna sprinkle with just a little bit of cheese. And then we're just going to carefully roll it up as tight as we can. Had to grab another knife because that one was so dull. All right, there we go. And I just make them, I don't know, maybe an inch thick 
All right, and then I put these in the air fryer on about 380 for just about five to seven minutes to kind of crisp them up a little bit. And I'll show you what they look like when they come out. All right, that's what they look like. Going in for five minutes. Start with five. I like them kind of crispy, so we'll see. All right, y'all, lunch is done. Here's the little buffalo chicken rolls. So good, they get a little bit crisp. Like I said, I like to dip mine in ranch and these are so filling. The perfect little quick lunch. All right, y'all, we've been going about two and a half hours, but I like to just come in and kinda flip my chicken breast over anytime I'm doing something like this in the slow cooker. I guess just kinda gently stir everything around, making sure those flavors, you know, get all over all the chicken breast evenly and everything like that. So obviously we still have a little bit of time to go. So that all stirred up. I get the lid popped back on and I'll see y'all in probably about another hour, hour and a half. Alrighty, so our chicken has continued cooking. It's been almost four hours, I believe. Yes, it's on warm already. So I'm just gonna take my little tool, my little mix and chop, and I'm just gonna shred up my chicken with this tool. It is super tender. I'm barely putting any pressure on it at all. And I was hoping it would kind of break up the little tomatoes too. I think it's going to, since I didn't get the julienne sun-dried tomatoes. So I'm just gonna get everything broken up. It's already looking and smelling really good. Let me see if I can bring y'all up a little bit closer can kind of see what it's looking like. I'll just make sure I get the julienne tomatoes next time, but I think it'll be fine. They did break up a little bit. I don't know if y'all can tell that or not. It smells so good. All right, one more thing. So lastly, we're just gonna add in some cheese. I'm just gonna be using this five cheese Italian blend. You can use just Parmesan, really whatever kind that you want. I think I'm gonna stir in maybe a cup Sorry if y'all hear my dishwasher going in the background. Now we're just gonna give this a stir. Get all of that cheese nice and melted. And then over on the side, I told y'all I was gonna serve it with some angel hair, angel hair pasta. Of course, any pasta that you prefer will be great. And my serving of angel hair pasta over here. And now, just get some of this marry me chicken on here. I think it looks good? Yeah. This is for one of my kids. They are going off to another activity tonight, so they're eating a little bit earlier. You get the what we call the show plate. A little bit of Parmesan cheese on top, which I know you love. We call these plates that I show the show plate. No picture plate. And the other oh, picture plate, because the rest of us eat on paper plates. So if you do that, don't feel bad. Neither do we. Or we do too. All right, y'all. This was so easy. It smelled so good. Only took four hours to cook. All right, y'all. This one's super easy. I hope you will give it a try. All three of these recipes in today's video are truly some of our new favorites and old favorites if you're making the lunch recipe, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I'm gonna have two other videos right here on the screen that I think you would love. So I'll see you over there and I'll see you back here in my next video. Bye y'all.